Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 281. Lipid Lowering Agent. Describe the picture on page 281. First of all, let's get oriented with the picture. Starting from left to right, we're looking at the gut, the hepatocyte, the blood, and the endothelial cell. So from here, we're going to talk. Um, you see where it shows ezetimibe. Now, ezetimibe's main function is to prevent the cholesterol reabsorption at the small intestine brush border. So that's what it's doing here. It's not letting the cholesterol go into the hepatocyte. And so that is how cholesterol ends up getting excreted by the body and does not get reabsorbed. So that is the action of ezetimibe, and that is a cholesterol absorption blocker. Now, if you look at the hepatocyte, we're looking at how the cholesterol and the bile acids are made. Now looking at this picture, we see how acetyl-CoA eventually becomes HMG-CoA, HMG-CoA eventually becomes cholesterol, and cholesterol eventually becomes bile acid. There is you know, multiple steps in the middle, but uh, we're not going to talk about those. The important steps are, are what um, it's showing here. Now HMG-CoA becomes cholesterol, and the enzyme that it uses here is HMG-CoA reductase. Now, if you use the drugs HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, these drugs will prevent that conversion from happening, and therefore eventual formation of cholesterol would be blocked. So this is how cholesterol is decreased in the body. And now moving forward, we're going to talk about how bile acid resins come into play. Now, as you can see in the picture here, eventually after cholesterol is made, then the bile acid gets made. What happens to the bile acid is it goes out into the gut, but then it has to get reabsorbed back so you know the liver doesn't have to make more bile acid. So what bile acid resins do is it prevents that uh, step from happening. It prevents that reabsorption. So it prevents the intestinal reabsorption of bile acid. Therefore, the liver must now go and get more cholesterol from the blood and in this way make the bile acid. So it indirectly requires the liver to pull out more cholesterol from the blood and in this way decreases the um, levels of cholesterol in the body. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is niacin. Now the effect of niacin doesn't let the VLDL get into the circulation. If VLDL doesn't get into the circulation, lipolysis doesn't happen. If lipolysis doesn't happen, there's not an increased level of cholesterol in the body. So this is the effect of niacin on uh, decreasing the levels of cholesterol in the body. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is the fibrates. If you look at Gem Fibrozil, in the picture here, it shows that it's upregulating the lipoprotein lipase. And then this will cause an increase in the clearance of the triglycerides out of the body. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.